All right, 2021. So here's the intro to the class. Uh, really, this is just for my fifth period. So uh, section 80 V9, uh, you are my virtual class during my fifth period. Um, I'm going to put office hours probably for Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, where I will physically be here on my Zoom, uh, and I'll add a Zoom that's going to be perpetual, so it'll just be the Zoom link, and that'll always be the link. You click on that, and I'll be in there. We'll say Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have to have two hours a week, uh, but I will most likely have that open every day. Um, so Monday through Friday, I'll probably have that open. Uh, there will be instances when I won't. Uh, for instance, if there's another class that I have to cover for a teacher, uh, if there's a parent conference, um, an art, any, any kind of event that would pull me away from the classroom. Uh, but I'll, I'll set it in stone Tuesdays and Thursdays so that way uh, those days are not scheduled for anything else. But Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be open for those other things. Uh, so look for that on my Schoology page. It'll, it'll have the link, uh, Zoom, and you'll just click that. It'll always be at the top and make life easy. Um, as you know, I'm Mr. Hernandez. You should know because you clicked on all the links to get here. Uh, if you don't know, I'm Mr. Hernandez. <laughs> uh, and this is uh, Intro to STEM. Uh, and my first bit of the introduction is that it really does not matter what class you choose. So uh, you are in seventh or eighth grade and uh, you've chosen STEM, but if you chose intro to programming or investigating careers, I teach those classes as well. And you will have the same selections. So here's how my class works in a very short and sweet kind of way. Um, in my class, you have the choice of uh, five learning paths. However, because you're virtual, uh, there's only three learning paths. Uh, I'm going to say all five of them because I am going to put this video in my non-virtual classes for those students who perhaps come in late. Uh, they're not here on the first day when I give my intro or they're not paying attention for some reason, which always happens as kids, you know, in la la land while I'm talking. So the five choices are uh, 3D printing, where you learn how to actually make a real 3D print. Uh, do I have a 3D print here to show? Actually, here I do. My uh, Zelda shield is 3D printed. Um, now this is pretty advanced stuff. I've been 3D printing for a while, uh, but you can make something on this level even in your first time. Um, and you will create your own 3D print. That will be your final project by Christmas time. You'll do that. Uh, then we have web programming where you will learn to make a website um, and you will make your own web page. Uh, that will be your final project for uh, before Christmas as well. If you choose game programming, you will make your own video game. Um, you actually have two choices there uh, where you can make a game that comes from STEM Fuse and you just follow the instructions. Or some students want to go above and beyond. They want to make their own level game, their own thing, uh, and you can make your own game, you'll learn how to do it no matter which way you choose. Uh, then, unfortunately for my virtual kids, the other two choices, robotics and drones, are not available to you, and that's because the robots are physically here in my room, and the drones are physically here in my room, uh, and I have no way of getting them to you. So if you want to do robotics and drones and you really, really, really want to do it, uh, you know, go to mom and dad and say, hey, I want to do this and ask them to switch you so you can come to class and physically do it. Um, other than that, uh, in class, you'll have the choice 3D programming, web programming, game programming, robotics. And if you complete robotics, then you get to do drones. Nobody gets to just do drones unless, of course, you're an eighth grader and you had me last year in seventh grade and you already completed robotics in seventh grade, then you can come back and you can do it in eighth grade so you'd be able to walk in and get started with drones. Um, other than that, but as a virtual student on your computer, uh, you're limited to the things that you can do on your computer, which would be 3D printing, web pr programming, and game programming. 
you will create if you pick 3d printing you will create your 3d print on your computer at home then you will send it to me and i will print it on our 3d printers here and it will still go into showcase and you'll still be you know represented here at school and then if you want uh, i'll hold on to your print and you can come get it uh, whenever you're able to come get it you can come get it next year you can come get it um on the you know after school or something like that whenever whatever works out for you send me an email and we'll coordinate uh, but that's the basic breakdown of my class. You're going to learn these things. You get to choose what you want to learn. Um, I do require you to stay where you choose. So if you pick 3D printing, you stay in 3D printing. If you find, oh, I don't like 3D printing, okay, well, you still got to stick with it. And then next semester, if you want to change, you, that's why I allow you to do um, either you pick STEM programming or investigating careers. You can do any of those things. So if you have me for STEM this first semester, you will most likely have me for programming next semester. And when you're in programming, if you said, oh, I did game programming and I didn't really like it, now I want to do robotics. Or since you're virtual, let's not use those as an example. Now you want to do web programming or now you want to do 3D printing, right? Whatever you picked, you didn't like it and you want to do something else or you loved it and you want to do more of it you could do that too or you loved it but you still want to try something else you could do that too i want to give the the i want to give my students the full range to be able to do all of these things uh so that's what I, that's how i structured my class um other than that you're going to have assignments two assignments that are graded every week um, so you have two things that you have to complete, uh, and those will be labeled as assignments. So it'll be assigned, like for instance, assignment one, assignment two. That's the first week. Then three, then four, then five, then six, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's a pretty simple structure for the class, um, and then depending on what you choose is the difficulty levels. Um, I always get asked that question: what What is the difficulty? So I have laid it out in its difficulty. 3D printing is probably the easiest thing that we do in my class. Um, then web programming would be the next easiest thing, followed by game programming. And that, you know, for virtual students, that's the level of difficulty. Game programming is probably the most difficult uh, to do, while 3D printing is the easiest to do. Students always ask me that, so I just want to give you that a heads up. Um, it's the level of work so you know 3d printing is more of an artistic thing and not as a technical thing while game programming is more of a technical thing than an artistic thing uh, so so that's why it's a little more difficult i would say but that that's all relative to you as a student. So if you really like game programming, if you've done game programming in the past and you want to make your own video game, even if you've never done game programming in class and you want to do video, you want to make your own video game, then yes, game programming is where you want to be. Um, but you may also like doing 3D printing. So like I said, I give that option, right? So uh, what sounds more interesting to you the first time around, if you've never done this before, making a 3D print, or making a video game that's that's what you would choose from uh, but like I said I always have students ask me what's the easiest one to do okay 3d printing that's the easiest one to do um, but I'm not limiting you because if you love it then it's all pretty much like if you ask me I think they're all easy because I love them all right so uh, but anyway I don't want to ramble on it's been eight minutes and I don't want to I could be boring if I do that but anyway uh, this is the intro welcome to 2021 school year here at HMS we're super excited we got a lot going on um, and I look forward to seeing you in uh, virtual. You know, we'll be talking in Zoom and, you know, I'm, I'm a very interactive guy. So we'll, we'll, we'll have plenty of conversation even if you're virtual. And, of course, if you're in my class, I'm going to see you every day. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to copy this to all my classes so everybody gets an intro. Uh, but this specific video was really for my fifth period. Uh, the rest of y'all, you'll hear me on the first day unless, of course, you're not here the first day. And then uh, I won't repeat myself. <laughs> then you can watch this video. Anyway, so have a good year.